Um, it was great to see all the people that uh, watched the last uh, video about the coil. So um, this is um, the one I'm showing now is about the 50th incarnation of uh, different designs I've tried. This one is a um, rotating magnet inside of a um, like a bounty towel roll uh, tube. Um, it's a neo magnet that spins on the axis like this. There's no bearings or anything, it just rides inside of little plastic um, um, gears. This is a tail rotor motor off of one of those um, flying helicopters, uh, RC helicopters, micro helicopters. It's a pager motor and um, there's a little gear on the pager motor and a big gear on the shaft that turns this. <clears throat> and the idea is that uh, as this spins and the face of each magnet so there's um, a north side and a south side so as this twirls you're adding magnets to this steel coil my idea was that if this is arranged axially opposite of the way normal motors and generators are set up then we could eliminate the back EMF that's caused by the induced um, magnetic field that's in the coils that slows down or actually repulses the the field of the moving magnet trying to eliminate that but as you can see I've got this hooked up to a a, a larger voltmeter this is a one and a half volt battery and when you turn it on you can see the needle it's not rectified you can see the needle it's putting out very small amounts um, through the coils from this magnet spinning. <clears throat> it's being run on a double A battery, it's about one volt, and um, these are strictly pickup coils. And so that's it running. Um, but the amazing thing was that even with this arranged this way, as soon as you hook up a meter or a load or connect these across, um, this slows down so there is a drag on the shaft and magnet even with this arranged the way it's arranged so um, it was a neat demonstrator uh, to see what the the purpose of that was and if it would work and um, um, I haven't hooked up all four coils to see if it puts out more than than uh, it did before but it does show that um, with at least this arrangement that um, um, you've still got that back drag. So thanks for all the comments and uh, all the views and um, next I'll show my Bedini wheel. Thanks.